is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds today we are back with another new purchase an 80s chevy astro van that i got for 375 dollars from insurance auto auctions but before i take you out there to see that i just had to show you my latest purchase um monkey wrench mike had some old stereo equipment laying around that he didn't want anymore i told him that i've been looking for a while for some vintage audio and he hooked me up with this no not the whole thing this is just what got me started he hooked me up with an old technics uh this is a sagx 470 amp and then he also hooked me up with this auto reverse dual cassette deck this is an rs tr373 uh, five disc cd changer this is an sl pd667 and then I purchased the rest of this separately. This is a Panamax M5300-EX, basically a voltage stabilizer, noise reducer, surge protector, the whole works. And then uh, I bought these. These are Seren Vega LS15s. You guys remember these 15s? These things pound, man. I've been sitting here playing some, what do we got? We got all the music from my Uncle Ron, MTV Party To Go Volume 4. We. They've been, and look, these close themselves. So I, I thank you to Monkey Wrench Mike for the audio equipment. He gave me these three pieces. I bought this, I bought these. The cabinet, this is a uh, O'Sullivan. I actually got this cabinet for free. Somebody was giving it away. They didn't want it. They didn't want any money for it either. I've got a record player coming as well. We're gonna get some records. And I've got my uncle's old music collection from his house uh, from when he passed away. We got cassette tapes. Guys, he, he was eclectic. We've got tlc look at this tlc fan mail all right let's see what else we got here we got snoop dog the dog father all right what else we got here we got the number one hit mix whatever that is uh we've been listening to some music guys i know the house is an absolute wreck uh, it's a, I, I guess you guys need to understand i don't use this house this isn't where i live this house is simply where i work on cars and that's it there's no furniture or anything in here at all this is just like a hangout kind of a party place uh so yeah there's extension cords and crap everywhere. Uh, I don't live here, but I thought it'd be cool to add this stereo system here. Tell me what you guys think. Anybody else into audio other than me? Anyway, moving on, here's some of the vehicles that I, I still have and I've got work to do to them. This is my like 2005 or something Cadillac uh, limousine, Cadillac DeVille limousine. Of course, the 87 Monte Carlo SS with the 480 horse 33 stroker. And uh, we're still, we're, yeah, we got more to do that. My 76 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Uh, this thing, I made one video and I have never made another one. I did come out here the other day off camera and I actually fixed the back window so that it's not gonna fall out anymore. This, if you're wondering, it doesn't look the prettiest. You could cover this up with black silicone if you wanted to, just to make it look a little better. But this is actually Loctite. <laughs> Loctite, like industrial, 8x something or other i use this all the time on convertible tops where the windows are falling out you get that that loctite stuff on there real good and you really push down on it once that stuff cures it will never ever fall out again and i think it just looks so much better with the window not falling out of it so more to come on the old caddy here soon same thing with the e350 i got a lot to do to this one we need to get back to it i've just been so busy with everything else uh all of this stuff has sat by the wayside. Um, I got the new motorcycle that uh, I'm getting ready. I, I'm probably just gonna end up selling it. Um, I've got the Viper. There's a story coming out on that eventually. Uh, it's sold, but not exactly. Anyway, let's pay attention to this. This is my Chevy Astro. It's like a night, it's a 19, is this a 90s? I thought this was an 80s. No way. So it's a 93 Chevy Astro. This is a conversion van. It's the Astro EXT, so extended wheelbase, right? It's got the white letter tire. It's got the faded paint. Uh, it's got patina. It's got character. It's got the beauty rings on the wheels there. It's got the white letter big O tires that are probably almost flat. Um, I found this out in insurance auto auctions, guys. And I decided to go ahead and throw some bids on it. And I ended up winning it unexpectedly. I didn't expect they were going to let it go for 375 bucks. I won it for $375. They came back with a counter offer of 500. And I said, no, I said, I said, oh, wow. We're gonna need to grease that. <laughs> oh boy, those tracks need some grease. Whew. Or some silicon lube spray, something like that. 
you know, she's a little rough. Um, we found this at the auction. And like I said, $375. I couldn't pass it up, man. It, it is dingy. It's dirty. But surprisingly, it actually runs. And that's the only reason I bought it. Uh, it ran, and I got it for $375. Yeah, of course. I think this is, who makes this? World Traveler is who d does this conversion. Oh, Explore. I'm sorry. It's Explore that does the conversion. You got the couch back here. This obviously fell off. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and try to put this back up right now. Somebody had some sealant on it. Apparently, it did not, it did not hold up well. Anyway, we'll push this all back on. I'll do that here in a minute. But look, you got your air vents back here. Looks like you can spin them. You got your couch, which turns into a bench seat. You've got your recliners up and down. You got lights back here, ashtrays, audio ports. I mean, this thing has got it all. So we're gonna get this thing going, try to take it out on a ride. Tires are ancient. I need to air them up. They're all very low. Um, she is filthy too. I mean, this thing is just so, it's so dirty. Honestly, it's kind of disgusting. What is this? We got a little switch here for on and off. Huh, I wonder what that does. Interesting. We got some vacuum hoses here that aren't hooked up to anything. That's, well, that's fun. And then the hood release. Here's the best part. To me, this thing has digital gauges, guys. Digital gauges. You got the 4.3 liter Vortec. V6 being a 93, I guarantee it's a 4L60. Mileage, a lot. If you can see that sticker right there, I'll tell you how much it's got. It has a, you know, 287,897 miles. I have not started this or driven it since it's been dropped off. This thing got dropped off here. I came down here and was like, man, I gotta get to filming some of this. So let's start with grabbing the booster pack. Let's see if we can get this thing running. And then I'd like to take her out for a drive. It's got a Gates belt. It looks to be in really good shape. It's a relatively new belt. Yeah, let's throw a jump on it, see what it does. All right, we got power and it should fire up because we had this thing running at the auction and that's when I decided I had to have it. Keys down here, key fob two. I don't know if it works. Nah, key fob does not work. We have both keys, one for the door, one for the ignition. So that's always good. Look at those digitals. Fired right up. <laughs> so again, I don't know what this switch down here is for. Oh, it's like an alarm. Maybe it's for this? It must be. You can turn the alarm on. It clicks. It so the battery's dead in the... Wait, 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 wait. No. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. We're going to... Let's turn that off. Let's just... Let's just leave that off. All right, does the important window work? We're going to get these windows down. I'm certain this thing does not have cold air conditioning. And being a 93, it should still be R12. Uh-oh. That window doesn't work. Nope. Well... What are you going to do, right? She's running. That's something. Let's turn on the air conditioner real quick. I don't remember if we checked it. Like I said, I don't expect the AC is going to work. Um, it's on max AC. Oh, there we go. Oh, it bogged down like maybe it's trying. Radio? Radio works. All right, radio works. No kidding. I wasn't expecting that, guys. You got a cooler right here. You got the books right there, place for CB radio. Uh, something up here, I don't know what this is. Just a little cubby hole, I guess. And in, 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 in direct lighting and open switch. Those do nothing, so probably got a blown fuse there somewhere. Does the power seat work? Let's find that out. Nope. It does. That does nothing. Something tells me we may have a fuse or two in this thing's probably no good. Alternator's charging at almost 14 volts. We will bring that with us. Air compressor. Nah, she ain't doing nothing. Um, 
This actually looks like R134, guys. It is. That's R134. I'll be. You got Hydro Boost brakes. Runs off of the power steering pump. She runs like a top, man. I was hoping that maybe this window would go down. Uh, yeah, that ain't. That's just not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. So I guess what we could do is we could try to open some of these vent windows over here. Oh, TV power. There's a place for a TV down there, I guess. You got your shades. Take a look at this. Oh yeah, shades. Open your window. Uh, there we go. You gotta remember, it's been a while since this stuff has been used, guys. It's probably been a long while. You got your bed back here. That opens up nicely. Get the airflow going, you know what I mean? Pop this out. There we go. We're on the business now, guys. We're about ready to take this thing for a spin. Let's close it. Let's... What? What the heck? Oh, great. It's stuck. Perfect. Had to do a little bit of negotiating with it, but we got it. We got all the windows popped and cracked. We'll take this off. Of course, I got to put a plate on here before we hit the road. Let it run for just a minute. Uh, ugh. Let it run for just a minute. Make sure there's no overheating or anything weird like that going on. Meanwhile, I'll take all this stuff off. We'll come back and we'll get this thing out for a test drive. So real quick, I've already fixed something. I was looking at this uh, terminal right here, this like junction block, and I noticed it said power seat. And I thought, well, let's just see where this wire goes. Well, this wire was hanging down under there, went to nothing. It's supposed to go right here. So for now, we're just gonna kinda, we're gonna stick it right there. And I want you guys to see this. Take a look at this, we've already got stuff fixed. Would you look back there? We got the mood lights. I could turn them off. I could turn them on. Oh yeah, <laughs> mood lights, man. That's what I'm talking about. And I think we got some fuel in this thing too. Yeah, we do, good. I think we can turn these off. This now works. Look at that. Temperature hasn't started going up yet, so she's still cold. I'm gonna air these tires up real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take this thing on a test drive with almost 300,000 miles on it. What do you think the chances are that it's actually gonna run, drive, and shift? All right, you guys ready for this? Turn the lights off. Temperature's finally starting to come up. She just went into gear. I aired up the tires. I put a plate on the old girl. Horn. No horn brakes. Check. Signals. Appear to work. We got no warning lights on the dash either. Oil pressures between 20 and 40. I don't know, around 30. Something like that. 20 to 30. Let's take her out on the road, guys. First drive. The question is, does it have gears? It does. It just shifted. And it just shifted again. It's <laughs> it's driving. Wow, the old girl is driving. Um, oh man, what do you think the chances the cruise control works? Two hundred and eighty-seven thousand miles. Take a look back here, guys. We're riding in style. This thing had air conditioning. We'd be set. We would be absolutely set if this thing had AC in it. Wow, I can't believe it. Now the speed limit goes up to 55 and then 65, so we're really gonna find out how she does here in just a minute. The steering is good, surprisingly, even with those old tires. Uh, it rides good too. All right, time to get her up to speed. Let's see if we can do 65. It says it's got gas, so let's hope the gas gauge is right, too. We're going up a hill. 64. 
65 cruise control does it work it does even the cruise works look my foot is off of the gas pedal i'm not touching it now look up here at the speedometer holding cruise control 66 miles an hour not a problem <laughs> oh what a score man what a score I don't know guys I feel like I kind of been on a winning streak lately and I'm really really happy about it I don't know what I will ever do with this van I have no use for this thing you know what I mean three hundred and seventy five dollars for a running and driving minivan a conversion van at that you can literally sleep in the back we got to try that bed out here in just a minute we'll make it that five miles and then we'll try to uh, flip that bed into a couch and we'll see how it does. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Turn on the trip. Can we reset the trip? There we go. It's a little late resetting it now, but it's a 10 mile drive. What a blast. I'll bet if you shoot some Freon into that uh, service port, I almost bet you money the air conditioning comes back to life on this. I won't guarantee it, but I'd almost bet money that we could get air conditioning working in this thing. Guys, I'm going to say it again. $375 for a running and driving vehicle. It may not be pretty. It may not be the most luxurious. But for 375 bucks, the fact that we the fact that we got something that runs and drives down the road, that's pretty unbelievable, guys. You don't find deals like that today. Cars don't sell for $375 today. That doesn't happen anymore, man. Well, I didn't think it did. Sure, it's gonna need a little bit of work here and there, but I mean this is something, guys. I haven't driven this ever. I haven't done anything with this. It showed up at the house, we jump started it, and we hit the highway with it. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. I'm I'm probably getting a little too excited a little too soon. But I'm just saying, what a steal of a deal for anything that runs and drives. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it halfway. This is the five mile mark right here. We're gonna hop out real quick, make sure nothing's on fire. Uh, and check that bed. Again, turn signals appear to work. Go off road. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Put her in park. Gauges all look good. She seems to be relatively happy. Guys, <laughs> uh, it's a little filthy. It's a lot filthy. You know, it's, it's, and I don't think you're going to clean that up. That stuff has absorbed into the wood. That's a lot of soda spilt and who knows what else in there, man. So that's a shame. You probably have to take each one of these pieces off, clean them, like pressure wash them, and then you might need to stain them or something. My question though is, oh, is it, what is it? it, it's locked? Hold up, what? Well, that's no good because this, the lock button's broken. Oh yeah, it is. That side's locked too. Hold on, maybe this switch down here can help us out? No. Yeah? It seems like it unlocked it. No, that's... That is absolutely locked. Great. So that means we gotta old school like climb through this thing let's see if we can hey that's unlocked now what about back here that's unlocked too are you serious i don't want to shut this thing off but we might have to to open that uh to open that back well screw it i shut it off maybe it'll run again maybe it won't i got the booster pack with me just in case hopefully there we go. Yeah, 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 I don't know why it locked like that. Oh, there's a spare belt back here too, guys. Look at this. Look at that. That looks... That's actually brand new. So somebody kept a brand new belt back here. 
We got a spare tire, which I'm not sure what. I don't think that's supposed to be there. We got a first aid kit? No kidding. It's trying. It probably needs to be running, honestly. Let's see if it'll start back up again. The battery's probably shot in this. They usually are. Probably should turn these lights off too, save battery. Fire, are you kidding me? Fired right back up. <laughs> what a trooper. Here I was thinking I'm gonna spend $100 on a battery. Let's see, forward and back. All right, it's sliding backwards. Look at this. And what about up? Come on. It's trying. It's trying. So there we go. There we go. There we go. She's probably been sitting like this for a long time, guys. Wow. I can't believe this is working. Oh, you got some cup holders back here, too. So it looks like the seat probably fold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This piece folds down and you can have yourself some cup holders. All the seat belts are stuck in here. You'd have to slide those back through. No way. So yeah, you got yourself. Oh, that's your lock button right there. Unlock, lock, unlock. All right. And then down, up, forward. It is a little sticky and back. I think a little bit of lube would go a long way with this thing, man. Wow, I can't believe all this works. I really can't. All right, let's close it up. Nothing's on fire. Make sure this still works. It's locked. <laughs> That's all right. Look, it's not perfect. Like I said, you can't really expect perfection out of something for $375, right? Have I said it enough? Look at his lights. Yeah. What a classic old van. Nope, no funny noises. It's got good pressure on the cooling system. It's nice and warm. Nice and quiet too. <laughs> what a score. Oh, this is, no, it's not locked. There we go. And this door's, uh, yeah, that's gonna need some work, guys. You're gonna need to put some serious lube or grease on that thing. Still though, surprisingly, There's a lot of oil under there. I was looking to make sure it wasn't coming from my van. It ain't. It's, hold on, let me make sure. Let me double check. No, that ain't. I sure don't see anything. <sighs> Convenient that it's right underneath the van though. I mean, she's got pressure on the cooling system. It's nice and warm. Temperature is not hot or anything. So I think we're good. Radio again, let's try that. Outdoors, there we go. Outdoor activities have just become there we go. Let me buckle up, guys. We're going to try to get another five miles home. Here we go. You can see right here, somebody else left a puddle. I think somebody was parked here. Something just left oil all over the place. Let's do a little burnout. Let's see. Enough of the shenanigans. Let's... <laughs> Man. What do you... What, what do you... What do you guys think? What a cool van. She's just getting down the road like nobody's business, man. No warning lights. Nothing. It's just cruising. I'm gonna get it back up to speed and I guess we're gonna head back home and enjoy some of these clouds and this amazing sunset. And we're back into town, guys. Not an issue at all. All the gauges still look good. Uh, this is gonna run at about eight miles, but we started the trip a little bit late to the party on this one, guys. Unbelievable. This thing had to have been sitting for a long time, man. Look at the dashboard. It's got some cracks. It's wavy because it's been sitting out in the sun and the heat. Wipers work. 
cruise control works. Again, it's not perfect and it sure ain't pretty, but uh, it get the job done. You got good brakes, like I'm hitting the brakes, they don't shimmy. The truck doesn't pull. It had to squeal, didn't it? <laughs> she, had, she had to squeal on me. She did. No way, man. I, I am so blown away and impressed with this 1993 Chevrolet Astro van. Definitely uh, a different time, man. Uh, this takes you back. Kind of like that stereo system. It just, it really takes you back. Look at the headlights up there. Signals. I don't know if you can see them, but the signals work. Looks like I got a bulb out on that side. It was working, all right? It it was working. Brights work. The window's a little slow on this side, but it works. Just be patient with it. Remember, she's old, guys. Let's shut her down. Make sure she fires back up. Oops. I thought it was going to fire right back up. <laughs> I didn't let it crank long enough. There you go. Wild, man. That's absolutely in the old Delco radio with the tape player. I'd love to put a tape in it, but I'm afraid it would eat it. What more do you want from the old van? I'm going to rev it up, make sure the uh, battery's good and charged. Oh, it says we're moving. All right, let's close up these windows and close out this video. All right, so being real with you guys, like, what am I gonna do with this van? I don't know, I'm open to some comments and suggestions down below. I really don't know, man. Uh, I could try to clean it up some, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how good she's gonna clean up. You know what I mean? It's uh, definitely a little on the rough side. The paint's rough. I mean, I could clean the tires up, give it a bath make it look a little better, take the writing off the windshield. I could try to clean up the wood in the interior a little bit. I don't think that's gonna happen. I, I don't, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, definitely could try to get the AC functional in this. That would be a huge bonus. Of course, can't guarantee that it's gonna stay working, you know, could definitely have a leak. So I'm a, uh, I don't know. I could take this thing to Mako, you know what I mean? I could tell them, now they don't have the graphics for it. They wouldn't have all the fancy stripes or anything, but I could tell them, sand all that off, give this thing a fresh silver respray. I mean, it should come out looking nice, guys. The thing would look sharp, absolutely. We clean up the interior. I just, at the end of the day, it's a Chevy Astro. It's got 300,000 miles on it. You know, this thing might have another 20 miles left in it, might have another 200,000 miles left in it. There's no way of knowing. And that's the problem. How much am I willing to spend on this thing knowing that there's no way i'm going to keep it it's going to end up going up for sale anyway so my thought we'll see where you guys are at with it but my thought is clean it up as best we can make it look halfway decent and as respectable as a chevy astro can and then sell it put it up on copart and sell it as of right now this one is potentially on the chopping block this one i've driven this almost a thousand miles monkey wrench mike even borrowed it he took it to tulsa and he ran around up there with it and then he brought it back we've put about a thousand miles on this car it's got the redesigned north star engine so it's not the old school one with the head bolt issue Twenty nine thousand miles on it limousine got stuff i got some work to do to it but i think this one's going to be going down the road i have no use for this car truthfully there's no reason to keep it so we're probably going to be getting rid of this one. The Monte Carlo, that's a, it's still a sore subject for me. I haven't made a decision yet on it. I am 50-50. 50% of me is like, I'm going to send this thing to Copart or actually, never mind. No, no, I, I keep forgetting this one. I own outright on my own, like not through my business is what I'm trying to say. I own this one myself. So I don't have to go through Copart. I can sell this one to anybody, a uh, private party. And maybe that's what I'll do. Then again, I don't know. Maybe it would do better at an auction. Uh, I don't know. And if I decided to get rid of it, I don't even know how much I want to sell it for. And I'm not even sure that I want to sell it yet anyway. This one, the Eldorado. Man, so many of you have been waiting on a update to this car. I, I paid five grand for this car. It's too much. I paid too much. I'm into it too much. I'm doing a few things to try to make it better. I want to try to take it on a test drive. Hopefully it's good enough now we can take it out and actually drive it. Uh, the convertible top, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll do a video on this car 
before all is said and done. But I think I'm going to put this one through Copart. I think I'm going to send this one down the road too. It makes no sense, guys. I already got 5Gs in it. I know from experience what it takes to build a car. And this one is a very special, unique car. Front wheel drive, right? Front wheel drive V8. That's a whole nother monster, man. 500 cubic inch V8. The whole interior needs done. The top is usable, at least for now. The lights work. There's still... There's still some things to get worked out on it, and I just don't see it, man. By the time I'm done with paint, tires, brakes, calipers, lines, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I, I, I'll have more into this car than I got into Monte Carlo. There's, there's just, just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, the bus, I got no use for this dang thing. I'm gonna do my best to get it running, and uh, after that, this one's probably gonna go down the road too, whether I get it running or not. I'm gonna do my best to get it going, but if I can't, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just send this down the road. We've had this sitting here for a long time, guys. It's not being used, it's taking up a lot of space. And honestly, it's taking up quite a bit of cash as well. Going into the garage here. Oh, it is so nice and cool. Air conditioned in here. Oh my goodness, thank you. Oh, let's put my tools up here. Um, I'll show you what I got sitting here. And I got another one that's not here. But obviously, the Viper's still here. I had a lot of people lately asking if it was gone. I don't know. if It's like if I don't show a car for a while, everybody just assumes that I get rid of it. And I guess that's fair, because I do get rid of a lot of cars. Um, this one, I recently found yet another issue with it. <laughs> we got a spark arcing off of the passenger side. Somewhere over here, there's spark arcing. So obviously, we got a cylinder that's trying to misfire on us. That's going to require uh, new spark plug wires. We're putting in new coils. To do that, you got to take the whole intake manifold off this car. So we got to undo the injectors, take off the fuel line, take off all the stuff on the front, pull the uh, intake manifold off the car, and uh, clean it up, clean everything up underneath it. I got new gaskets, I got new coils, I got new plug wires. We've already done the plugs and everything. So that's coming very, very soon. Hopefully that'll be out before uh, this video comes out. Then we've got the Kawasaki Voyager 12, the whatever it is, GZ1200. I'm trying to bring this battery back to life. It looks like we might be getting there, maybe. It's almost to 100%. And uh, oh yeah, she's nice and warm. She's nice and warm. I've had this battery reconditioning for a while now. Listen, guys, uh, if I remember, I'll put a link to this below the video. I cannot tell you how many hundreds of, if not a thousand dollars by now, this one little device has saved. Uh, I don't remember how much it is. It is not super expensive. It does 12 volt normal batteries. It does 12 volt uh, cold AGMs. It does small batteries, normal and cold AGM. It does six volt batteries, 12 volt batteries. And it also has a repair mode where I guess it desolidifies, desulfates or, or something, whatever it is that goes on inside there. Um, all I can tell you is that using this, I've, sa I've saved a ton of batteries. That one is, is one right there. This came out of the Cadillac, uh, if I remember right. When I first got the Cadillac, this battery was shot. I mean, as soon as you turn the key off, it wouldn't even try to click when you turn it back on. That battery is good as new now. I already put my battery tester on it, good as new. So we saved a battery there. This battery looks like, because it's almost to 100% done, looks like it's gonna save that battery as well. So stay tuned is what I'm trying to say, guys. There's more, I also have a 2001 Subaru Outback, the wagon, all-wheel drive with the boxer engine. Yeah, stay tuned for that guy. There's so much stuff going on around here is what I'm trying to tell you guys. We got a lot. We got, look at this antenna. I'd hate to get whipped by that thing, right? Um, my Kawasaki, absolutely love this bike, but damn is it heavy. This is a, it's a big bike, man. <laughs> it's a real, she's a real big bike. It's a big Bertha type of bike right here. Um, I haven't really decided yet what to do with this one, whether to keep it and just play around with it and enjoy it because it was only 600 bucks or sell it, maybe make a little bit of money. I don't know. I haven't found anything that it really needs and I still don't know what this silly little kickstand thing is down here. Whatever that is. See what I mean? What, 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 what is that? It's not a kickstand. I don't know. I should probably read the directions or find a YouTube video. <laughs> Tells me exactly what that does. Cool old bike though, man. And I, well, I don't want to give too much away. We'll come back in another video. So there it is. There's everything that I'm working on, everything that I got going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I 
am going to get up out of here. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. Remember, down below the video, I have several links. One of them is to my TikTok account. If you guys want to join me over on TikTok, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to combat the people that are stealing my content. I've said it a hundred times in videos lately, but it's really important to me. People are literally stealing my content, reposting it over on TikTok, and they're getting paid. They're making money off of my videos, and they're literally doing nothing but downloading my video and then uploading it to TikTok. It's not really right. It's not a good thing. And if you guys could help, I would truly appreciate it. Link below. You can't mistake the account because if you click the link, it's going to take you straight to my account, which is the real account. Also down below for you guys' benefit, auto check. Carfax. You guys use those? Ever use them? You know how much they cost? They're about $45 per report. I can get them for you in the link down below this video for like five bucks. It's like $4.99, something like that. Five dollars, okay? Save you a lot of money on AutoCheck and Carfax. Also, AutoAstat.com. If you guys are uh, planning on buying a used car, you might want to use them. It'll show you if your car has ever been run through the salvage auction, and it even shows you pictures, before and after pictures, if they're all on there. Yeah, it's really important. I found several cars out at the auctions that uh, look decent, but when I ran them through Auto Astat, I found out they had been wrecked like four different times. Four different times. Yeah, completely smashed front, rear, sides, all of it, guys. I did a video on that. Hopefully you guys saw it. And I found the perfect car to show you guys like how bad some of these cars can be. And then they're put back together and they look like nothing happened. Auto A stat, link below this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing y'all again very soon in the next one. <laughs>